So I've got up this morning to make my cup of joe and it's quite chilly this morning here in the off-grid cabin. So I'm going to come and turn on the diesel heater and I thought that would be a great opportunity to see how much current the diesel heater draws or 12 volt diesel heater draws during startup and how much current it draws while it's just running. So let's let's do it. Let's have a look. So the diesel heater runs off the uh, battery box here. And the amp meter here, the little shunt, is saying at the moment we've got no current draw because there's nothing running off this sort of the diesel heater at the moment. So let's go outside. Let's have a look at the diesel heater. Let's crank it up. I don't know how well we're going to be able to see this because it's still pretty dark outside. You can kind of see just there the sun just starting to want to come up uh, over the horizon there. So let me turn on my torch so we can see what we're doing. Come out here to uh, this here. And this is the diesel heater. I have done a video on this. I'm pretty sure I've got a video on this. On my channel but this is the five kilowatt diesel heater you can get a, a i believe a two kilowatt a five kilowatt and an eight kilowatt and i have heard a lot of the eight kilowatts are actually five kilowatt diesel heaters sold as eight kilowatts bit of a scan there so if you've uh, got experience on the different wattage diesel heaters leave a comment below let me know is there actually an eight kilowatt or is it a scam okay let's go inside and let's turn it on. Righto, so come back here into the power meter. So we're just going to confirm that we've got no current flow at all. All right, so we've got no current flow. That's good. All right, let's turn it on. Let us hit the on button here. And that is on. So this is the remote head that I've got. I quite like this one. It gives us a little bit more information. I used to have the old dial remote head on the uh, diesel heater but I've changed over to this one okay so how much current are we drawing while the glow plug is heating up so I've heard roughly you draw around about the 8 to 10 amps with the glow plug going so it'll be interesting to see uh, if that's what this is going to draw in this case so glow plugs on heating up uh, nicely so it can ignite the diesel so we're about our eight and a half amps yeah there we go roughly about eight and a half amps to uh, run everything including running the glow plug to ignite that fuel so what we'll do is we'll just let it fire up and get running and then we'll see what it dials down to in current flow while it's running without that glow plug on. All right, so while we're waiting for the diesel heater to fire up, we're gonna crank up our morning cup of joe. I've already re already boiled this, so I'm just gonna reboil that. We're gonna get our Makona, only the best here in the off-grid cabin, and make that cup of joe. Right, and we can hear that diesel heater in the background. She's starting to crank up just nicely. So this is going to work out nice. A nice warm coffee in a nice warm cabin. What more could you ask for? Yeah, let's put a little bit of milk. Bit, bit, bit of milk. That's what we're going to ask for. A little bit of milk. There we go. The cup of joes, mate. Right, let's go over and have a look. Have a look at the diesel heater. So they're the ports for the diesel heater. So that is the suction lines. The air gets drawn in from the cabin, goes through the diesel heater and comes back out here. You can kind of see it there like that. Okay, so how much are we drawing now? So we're drawing 3.7 amps while that's cranking up. Now I do have it set, I believe, if we can see this. So I've got it set to, let us, oh, I need a couple of hands here. 
uh, got bad reflection. There we go. So I've got it set at pulsing of 4.5. What's it go up to? It goes up to 5.4. Let's run it flat out. Let's see what it uses running it flat out. So it's been running for around about five minutes now on, let's have a look, at the 5.4 hertz pulse rate. So we're drawing in amps at that rate, five point, uh, sorry, 3.3 amps current. So what I'm going to do is I don't usually run this flat out. I just run it a little bit lower. I think you usually go down to about four and a half hertz. And that, that seems to just be nice in the off-grid cabin here for heating this uh, and keeping it nice and warm. So we'll just sort of see what that dials back down to now in the hertz range. There we go. So we've got two, 2.5, 2.3 amps. Yeah, between 2.3 and 2.5 amps running at four and a half hertz on the diesel heater so that's not too bad at all and for those that like seeing what is happening with solar well it's dark outside so our 12 volt system which is uh this is this is the one that's going to be charging up the battery box here it does have its own dc to dc in it but i don't really run it too much i just use the inverter, uh, the uh, charge control here, so we're testing these ones out, and they've been working quite nicely. But we've got, because we've still got, come on, focus, phone. There we go. We got our moon, so we got no sun, and the moon is producing. Look at that, 1.1 volts, amazing. And the 24 volt system is running at. Well, the moon is producing two volts out of our solar panels. Uh, and amazing, even we get a little bit out of the moon. And of course, these are volts. We're not pulling any current, obviously. Okay, there you go. This video has gone long enough. So that is what the five kilowatt diesel heater consumes during startup and during operation at different Hertz rates. So I'm going to go and get my cup of joe, enjoy a nice hot coffee in a nice warm cabin. Usual thing, like the video, thumbs up, comment below, and we'll see what's next coming out of the off-grid cabin YouTube content creation channel. FYI, just put a comment down. What content do you want to see? What do you want to see in the next video?